right. Well, good morning. Thank you for attending today's webinar, where we will take you through the bridge engineering workflow using some of the latest features found in the Autodesk 2022 release. So just by way of introduction, my name's Pierre. I'm an account manager at Symmetry. I've been working in the industry for about uh, 20 years, educating and supporting companies, adopting new technologies and processes. I'm also joined by Dave Bosworth, one of Symmetry's consultants and a sector lead for civil and infrastructure. Coming from a background as a civil engineer, surveyor, Dave has worked for many years on construction projects across the UK, where he's gained unique experience in the use of design technology for infrastructure engineering. Similarly, we have Lauren Zucker, who's ha who has over 30 years of experience in the design and construction industry, with a focus on engineering and manufacturing sectors. All right, so just to set the scene, I'd like to draw your attention to an article written by Catherine Kennedy, who writes for the new civil engineering in December 2020 on the state of the UK's road and bridge network. It was revealed by the Times following an 18 month freedom of information battle with Highways England around 4,000 of the 9,000 motorway bridges and trunk road bridges are in substandard condition. The data released and seen by New Civil Engineer also reveals that 858 structures had at least one load bearing or otherwise crucial section in very poor condition. And on the M6 alone, 141 bridges had very poor components, which would require Highways England to spend 1.5 billion on structural maintenance. In the same article, TFL warned that it needs around 2 billion investment in its road network during the next 10 years to prevent key bridges and tunnels from shutting. You can obviously read more about the article. There's a lot more um, you know, facts and figures around the work, the good work that the guys have already achieved, you know, so uh, we, we, we do encourage you to, to, to read some of those articles. But if we, if we kind of zoom out a little and consider the infrastructure projects globally, we know there is an increased demand to unlock, uh, unlock funding to help with uh, post-COVID economic recovery. So, so with that as our backdrop, I would like to hand you over to Dave and Lawrence who will look uh, at challenging us to work smarter. Over to you, Dave. Thanks, Pierre, for that introduction. Uh, okay, I'm Dave Bosworth, uh, and I'm gonna kick off this whole process uh, by looking at a, a model that we've created in InfraWorks. So our bridge design workflow is going to start in InfraWorks with a model that we've created using Model Builder and then supplemented with some design information and some preliminary uh, layouts uh, to, to give us an initial scheme design. We're then going to use InfraWorks to model a conceptual bridge structure. And during this process, we'll also show how we can refine and, and update that using Civil 3D um, and also creates an output for Autodesk Revit. Thanks, Dave. Um, it's Lawrence Hooker here, and I'm just going to take you through the inventor part and the last part of the process, which involves Revit. So with Autodesk Inventor, we're going to use this for detailed bridge component design. So once uh, Dave has created his conceptual model in InfraWorks. I will author some detailed components that we can then publish back to InfraWorks and then use within our design. You'll notice that we can also create assemblies within Inventor. So if we think about a foundation with some piling inside that, we don't want that as a single component. We would like that as separate components so that we can treat each pile individually and schedule them accordingly. So I'll also be showing you that process as well. And then we finish off by taking the finished bridge directly from InfraWorks into Revit. But we do have some other um, workflows as well, where we'll be looking at taking the various components that we've modeled in Inventor directly through into Revit for some reinforcement design and, and detailing. 